About five months ago, I reviewed this Hestia. Um, it is a 25x zoom lens for your smartphone. And you're basically your smartphone, you move these magnetic mounts around so you position the camera of your smartphone right in there. And then your smartphone can take pictures or videos out of the front of this lens here. And the idea is you can take pictures of the moon, which works great. Um, you can take pictures of scenery with a 25x zoom lens, which works great. Um, or you can take pictures of celestial objects. Um, and when I reviewed it five months ago, the iOS or the Macintosh or the, the iPhone software was much better than the Android software. So they have since added the star finder where it will, will look at the stars and figure out where this guy's pointing and then guide you to one of the objects in their library of objects. Um, and I have been able to get that to work occasionally. It has to be a dark night, so no moon up. Um, and I'm in a Bortle 7 area, so I have a lot of light pollution. So if you're in a dark area, that might work a little better for you. Um, but if there's no moon up, you can point it at a point in the sky, it'll figure out where it is, and you tell it, hey, I want to look at like M18, and it'll say, okay, go left, go up, go down. And it has a little radar point image where you can center things. And that works pretty well. The thing I have not gotten to work, and I'm using a Google Pixel 7a, which is not a slouch in the Android phone market. It's not the absolute latest, but it's still a pretty darn good camera. Um, and it is not being able to stack images, the celestial images. Um, I've gotten maybe three, maybe six out of the 30 stacking, but it never actually stacks and makes a you know, night sky, deep sky image for me. Um, and so, I've heard of other people using it just as a push to, you know, kind of viewfinder for their big scopes. They'll mount the whole thing on a big scope and use it to aim at one of the limited number of items in the catalog here. Um, but general, my review is about the same as before. The hardware is nice. It's overpriced for what you get um, because a lot of the benefit is supposed to be in that software. And I haven't found the software to be really that valuable to me. Um, so if you need a way for your cell phone to get a 25x zoom lens for taking pictures of the moon or things during the daytime, it works pretty darn well for that. It's $300, which seems expensive to me, but it works for that. I would not buy this as a smart telescope or as a way to take pictures of anything other than the moon at night. Um, you know, I, I would go look for a used Dwarf 2. I'm pretty sure you can find a used Dwarf 2 in the less than $300 price range, um, and that's going to give you so much better results for night sky photography.